you want to do engine swap, like Mongo, Mongo have a couple tip. Um, to start, Mongo always use the case bolts that came out of engine. They stay with engine they came out of. Of course, that, that junk engine, it sees. So Mongo take the bolts from this engine and use those on this mower. But, Mongo use the crank pulley and crank bolts from this engine because those pulleys and whatnot, they are set at right height for the deck and the transmission of this mower. So I use same, same crank pulleys and bolts, or same crank pulley and bolt from this mower that stay with this mower. So the one that came off this engine, it stay with that mower. And then you may have to keep an eye out for which side electrical is on. So for example, other engine starter on this side, but new red engine starter over here. But like I said, it depends on engine. So if you remember, original engine for this mower was Briggs & Stratton V-Twin. This engine, it bolt right up, no problem. Same style electrical connection. Starter on same side. So no modifications, just fuel. So this engine, this mower, have fuel tank in the back. Not gravity fed which means there was fuel pump on it. So it had diaphragm, vacuum operated diaphragm fuel pump, which ended up dying on, on Mongo. So Mongo fix by taking the return vent for fuel tank and put little air pump on it. So Mongo pressurize fuel tank which make positive pressure in there, which push fuel into engine. So if you pressurize that tank, fuel come out. So it run for maybe five, 10 minutes on the fuel in carburetor bowl. And then Mongo pushed his pump a couple times, put pressure in tank and more fuel go in. Now, if you don't like that, you just use vacuum diaphragm pump, no problem, easy. But those are tips before getting into crazy engine swap. But so, now Mongo will mount that engine in there and start connecting things. You see. Engine bolt in just fine. They're bolt. Yeah. Pretty much main same stock location almost. Actually, I think it's same location as V-Twin. Oh, nope, different. But, like I said, hole's already there. Just bolt in. Now this next piece, this is, right, belt drive pulley, then the clutch engagement for belt. There is little notch, and then keyway. Those line up corresponding to crank pulley. Keyway line up with keyway and then a little notch line up with, uh, oh, it's hard to see. There's a reverse key. There's a key in there basically pressed into pulley right here on the inside. So be sure you line that up right. Otherwise it won't fit right. And then this little pin notch which usually gets worn out like crazy. That go in that hole. And so when this engages, it kicks over and that usually wears out. Mongo get pulley on. Pulley connected. Engine in. Like say, she bolt right up. No problem. Mongo already connect. Starter cable, so it should start. Well, not start, but 
it should spin. Still need to connect wiring, but let's see if spin. Yep. Yep, so that means that cable work. Just enough space to reach. Little bit of wiggle room, which is good. Must have wiggle room. To set throttle cable, we attach cable. Now we set, so when we move throttle, remember this has choke, but already different cable for choke under there, so we don't want choke setting, which is that, that fastest setting. So that fully extended should be slow. We want to set it to just, just hit, and then we tighten. And let's check. So fast. Yep, we can't hit choke. That's that's as far as it goes. So slow, fast. If you remember, Mongo didn't use hood on this mower because exhaust got in the way. If you remember, exhaust come way up here. So I couldn't put hood bracket on. But original muffler for this 20 horse twin look real, real close to muffler for the V twin. So, Mongo Tank, I wonder if it. Let's see. <laughs> it fit. This good. That mean Mongo can put back on and then put Mongo put hood bracket in and then Mongo can run hood. Maybe, maybe, maybe it's too wide. That wide engine. Don't know if hood that wide. That's okay. Mongo modify hood. So Mongo run hood is good. Hood bracket install. Nice and tight. But, slight issue now. New muffler bolts go up there. They don't quite line up and they hit this bar. So, two options. Mongo do some modifying of this V-twin muffler. Or, Mongo do some modifying of this muffler. This original for this engine. It still fit. We'll have to do some modifying to upper plate because right now plate in, in the way of hood bracket. So I'll we'll have to cut plate, bend around, get up there, and then bolt in. We'll sit on that frame rail real nice. So, Mongo Pry cut, modified this old. Piece of junk muffler, make it work. Mongo fix. Mongo have hood bracket, heat shield, and old exhaustion. Fits good. Now, hood will attach. Just need to see if wide enough. She wide. Also, Mongo get fuel line in. So let's take this fuel line and shut off valve. Take that from other mower. It route real nice back there. Real nice. Hose comfy. Good to have comfy hose. Fuel hose comfy. Clear of clear of chafing and burning bindage. Okay. 
Only thing left. Mungo figure out electrical. Let's see if it run. It's alive. There we go. Wiring work. Got all wired in. Got kill switch in. Got magneto stuff on. And hood. Remember, gotta have choke cable. Let's see, pretty sure hood will hit. Oh yeah, oh yeah, it hit. Look like sides okay though. Yeah, look like sides okay, but it hit in top, so. Now Mongo make hood fit, and tractor done. Mongo, all done. Got hood fit, fit good. Got choke cable, just zip ties, this is good. Now Mongo, top off with oil. It need a little bit of oil. Old school, slow way. Old but good. Check. Don't need much. Tractor all done, all fixed. So time for next project. Be sure like. Be sure subscribe. More projects on the way always.